Thursday marks the 14th UN Chinese Language Day, with a variety of celebrations held both in and outside of China. In Tangzhou City, North China's Hebei, a group of African students were invited to a program to learn about the cloisonné craft, a national intangible heritage of China. In China, it's not only experience to study language, but it's also experience to learn about Chinese culture. Then it helped me also to uh, spread it or uh, abroad or in, anywhere I can go. So, and I'm proud for that. In Tanzania, nine students at the Confucius Institute at the University of Dar es Salaam on Wednesday were declared winners of a Chinese language proficiency contest. The contest was held as part of celebrations to mark the UN Chinese Language Day. Chinese language learning is an effective approach to further develop the Sino-Africa ties. As we have noted in various parts of the Africa, there is a significant growth in Sino-African collaboration in different uh, fields. They need a large number of Tanzanians who have different talents and can speak Chinese. In Namibia, youngsters battled it out in the 22nd Chinese Bridge Proficiency Competition for foreign college students as well as the 16th Chinese Bridge Proficiency for foreign secondary school students on Wednesday. The experience was overwhelming, nerve-wracking, but it was also very entertaining and nice to take part in, so it was fun. My next step is to write the HSK uh, 4 for the Confucius uh, level and then to apply for scholarship in China. Since 2010, the United Nations has marked Chinese Language Day annually over the language's contribution to the world while encouraging more people to learn it.